Oh, right. The final task on the list. <clears throat> the Golden Winged Berry. I've made it clear I'm not going to go after the other berries. But this particular one... I at least want to obtain legitimately. Dude, I just noticed. Hang on. I just noticed each skull, each skull icon, has an angrier look to imply its difficulty. That's kind of bizarre. Anyways, without further ado, begin. A golden berry awaits us. That's not the berry I was talking about. But if, in case you want to know what happens if you collect it and you die. Oh, right. And you die. Oh, it just goes all the way back to the beginning. You also cannot dash. At least it doesn't disappear. Why are you picking up the um, golden berry? I was showing off to the audience what happens when you pick it up and uh, you die with it. It just goes back. Why are you picking it up if you're going for the the winged berry? Just, just for, just for, I almost said, I was close. Just for shooting giggles, I want to see how long I can last with this thing. Clearly the game is telling me, not very long, buddy. <laughs> see, here's what's interesting. Not only is it going to be hard to get across here without dashing, it's going to be hard to get across here without dying either. And both the cases, in both scenarios, is not a good thing for either the berry or the winged berry. I do say, I gotta say though, I really do like the look of the berry. It has a cute little crown on it. Is that part of the berry or is that like its own little accessory? I think it's part of the berry. Cool. Kinda cute. Oh joy. I honestly... See... The first jump, is, the first hurdle is no problem, but this, this is where things get complicated. Not for the golden berry, but for the winged berry, because I'm not sure how I'd get across here without dashing, considering it's this, the, the pit of spikes is longer than the jump itself. This will probably, like this kind of ability will probably come in handy, but well, my berry friend, it was good knowing you. Are you? Wait, what? Oh, it sets you back to where the berry is if you die, doesn't it? Well, at least it gives you another chance to go at it. Wait, ow. Wait a minute, so... I like... I can, I think. So, I imagine it's possible to get by here. I mean, if you did, then huh, there has. Okay, there's got to be a way to do this. And didn't you say that I'd have to utilize the art of spike wall jumping to get back by here, or by anywhere? Yeah. Is this one of those places? 
Yes. Huh. Okay, so what did you say I had to do again to pull it off? Okay, grab the wall, climb up as high as you can, jump straight up, and when you grab the wall again, immediately jump and move over. Okay, so... Alright, so... This is gonna be a practice session then, and the deaths I just had do not count towards our bet about how many times I die before I grab the berry. So, this will be a good practice session. So, I jump as high as I can, and when I grab the wall... You jump straight up, and as soon as you grab the wall, you jump again and move over. Oh! How does that even work? I don't know. At least it's possible to survive for the survive for that long with Oh, that's <laughs> I always okay, so I always thought that you meant I'd have to do it on spikes on uh, with spikes on a wall. So you were talking about the, of them being on the floor. Or maybe it's both. Either way, that's useful. The challenge begins. I like this this level is specifically designed just for the sole purpose of getting the gold, gold wing berry. Or not just for the sole purpose, but because you can also get it that way. Get it Oh shoot. Actually, here's what we'll do to make it official. Turn the map, then return to chapter. I think it saves my progress. I mean, other than that. Okay. Damn it!
Him spike. Damn it! Oh, that's right, the thing. Can you imagine having to do this with a normal golden berry without dashing? Dude, that would be annoying. Also, I found out basically what you were saying is I have to do a neutral jump in the same direction the spikes are pointing. I must think, I must ask, how am I supposed to do that when I bounce backwards and that's not the direction the spikes are pointing? I'm, I'll just wind up bouncing outside of them, and then if I try to go near them, they'll just impale me because I'm trying to go, I'm trying to put my back to them or my face. In other words, I don't see a way I can, like, get onto the corner while still facing them. Unless there's some kind of backwards facing move that I haven't heard of. So much fun. Uh, I found that. Okay, I think we should try to do this step by step. Which way should I be facing? It's one thing when I'm like standing on a wall or near next to a wall. It's another when I'm holding on to one. Oh, 
Damn it. I don't understand. Like, I'm trying to- I'm trying to grab on- I'm trying to, like, bounce off it, but I just don't get it. I'm, I'm afraid I'll just, like, slam my face into a spike instead of grabbing off- or, like, jumping off of it. And the example I saw on the wiki is of Madeline using a dash, which is not exactly what I intend- Wait a minute. Hold on. So... Okay. So... I need to somehow be facing the wall. Okay, so I have an idea, but damn it! So, Chris, what you're telling me is I need to I need to jump off the spikes while my back is against them while I'm close to the wall, right? That's the idea I'm getting, but like. So how do I turn around? Or like, how do I get my back up to the wall? By jumping off the wall? Oh! So... Okay. Wait a minute. So... Oh... So I have to do that thing where I bounce off the wall with my back facing it, and then go upwards and bounce back off. Ooh, that- oh my god, that's- oh, okay, joy. Okay. Okay, I think I get what you're saying, Dave. I'm gonna make sure I have this on- the speed is on 60%. I think I get what you're trying to say I should do. Yeah, 
mana saya kita point ni? Dude, that is hard. So I have to somehow clip the spikes with this without actually impaling myself on them. Wow, that is very highly expected of this game, but I mean, I suppose it's doable. Well, the person did, I imagine, was something along the lines of... Nope, oh, not that. Something like that. Now, if I slow it down to 50%, I should be able to pull it off. Jump, jump, and then it does another jump. Let me see that one more time. That is one seriously tough jump. I think the main hard part here is actually managing to jump off of the of the spike wall before I come out of go out of contact with it. 
Yeah, I think I have most of the part of the jump down. The only troubling part is actually grabbing onto the spike wall. You're not supposed to grab onto the spike wall. Then what is it I'm supposed to be doing? Because I know I'm supposed to be jumping off of it, I think. You can kick off of a wall that you're near without grabbing onto it. I was in the spikes there, so... Okay. Do this. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, ground for the corner or something. It's like, a, apparently it's like a nearly impossible jump. See, right there, I was, like, practically in the spikes. And do this. Close I was, I was like a couple centimeters. I almost had it though. That was good. That was close. Corner piece, come on.
Someone named Get a YouTuber named Get Good had these instructions. It's accomplished by holding the wall, pressing up and jumping, then immediately pressing away from the wall while still holding onto the wall and jumping again. Damn it. Do you think you could put these instructions in, like, button layout so I can actually understand it better? This is annoying! To be able to pull this off! I wanna try to do this legit. So, let's, let's make some specifics. Do I have to be hugging the corner of the wall there as I jump? Like, this one right... and This one right up here? immediately press away from the wall while still holding on to the wall. There's some confusing instructions. I 
I want to get this jump! <laughs> I mean, whoever made that jump, props to you, but also you're a bit of a D-I-C-K. I'm surprised you were even able to make it in the past. I just have to get up there. I think what I do find unique is that who, like the person who made Celeste really did plan out every bit of like level information, whether you wanted to play it normally or for the variants. Damn it! I also want to point out, the, the first time I played this level, I noticed there's a lot of Are You Beach Ready signs. Why would you put that on a freezing cold mountain when there's no sand or water nearby? That seems very out of place. Oh well, I'm sure the other plans in mind. Alright, uh... Reach that platform from here? Hope I can't. Very tight jump. Wait a minute. Uh, maybe I can... Nope.
Now what am I supposed to grab onto? Hey Dave, how'd you get past here? I can't seem to get up there, and the blocks aren't exactly equivalent enough for me to grab onto each of them. You know what, this is not going to be one of those professional collectible videos if I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. You know what? I know something that will help. Yeah, that- yeah, this video doesn't help me at all. I'll consider this more an episode than an actual run, because obviously I'm not good enough to do a run. Thanks to this goddamn game. There's- there's literally nothing- you have to be pretty precise, and you can grab onto the spikes from underneath you. There. You mean the ones in that incredibly small space? Yes. At least I think you can. Well, only one way to find out. Damn it! Grenade! Oh my god, I can! Now what? To, you should be able to grab that collapsible platform from there, but I don't know for sure. How do you do that, Or not. I mean, I was able to grab more from here, but I like, doesn't, I keep narrowly missing it. Oh, you know what you do? What? Jump off as soon as you can see that you've grabbed the wall. 
You mean you don't remember how you did it? I'm trying to remember. Um, maybe jump up and grab the ice block? That's what I've been trying to do, but I can't figure out a way to get up to it, because I've tried doing this. But, like, I think I have to, like, try to... Wait, maybe I can reach up here. With a bit of practice. Um, can I try it? Maybe I can grab it from here. See, the thing is, the space is so tight, so it's difficult to actually grab onto it, but I might be able to grab it. I don't know. From what I know, these two little uh, ice blocks here aren't going to be enough for me to actually, like, grab it. Because I'll just wind up jumping downward or something. I can cut to the corner of that top block, but I don't think I can do anything with it because it won't let me jump through it. There has to be some way I can do this. I think I might have an idea, but I don't know how well it'll actually work. What I can try to do... Well, if I don't touch the spikes... There's like a- I can see like a little hole in there, and I can see if I can like grab on- like jump into it. I mean, it's worth a shot at least. <laughs> so, the way I saw someone do it was like. You know, they did one of those spike jumps and then they. And you know, I can get over to the other side. It's kind of like that, but they like. Ju they like jumped off of it, like, like kicked off of it. You weren't kidding when you said you had to be freaking precise. This is like ridiculous. Ah.
How did this guy do it? Maybe he pressed right. I don't know. I really don't. But he got over there somehow. Damn it. I did it! I got it! I got it! Holy hell! No, don't you! Ah! Well, I at least made it. Okay. okay, let's try having a bigger jump than that. Thank you. Damn it. So it is possible, it's just tough. Can I please stop falling into the spikes? That'd be nice. There we go. I'm one step closer, Dave. I can feel it. Okay, I gotta be a little faster. be the right way.
Hold on. I got two. Oh, you are joking me. I have to grab onto that tiny little space between those spikes up there. Are you kidding me? Man, people really do not want you getting this berry. Well, I'm getting that berry. Whether they want me to or not. Jumping on the spikes. Freaking Dude, this is like one of the most stupidest precise jumps I've ever seen. How do they do this? Dave, I, did you have to do this too? Yes. How? It's you like... have to hold the climb button and try to land um, on the corner there between the two spikes. So what hit? So is there like a hitbox on me that determines where I land? Um. You have to hold the climb button, jump at the wall, and try to land at the corner of it, and immediately press the jump button. Oh, I did it! Oh, thank god. Careful. Right. 
34. I've seen this video to make sure I know whether or not there's going to be danger at the bottom so I don't mess up again. Um... Oh heavens. Oh heavens. Oh heavens to Betsy. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh my god. Yes. My prize awaits me. Oh, right. There's some more. Well, at least I got past that hard part. Oh my god, that was amazing. Ow. That wasn't. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, my butt was clenched when that, when that spike thing happened. I thought for sure I was gonna die. Ow. Can you believe that someone actually... Actually, I have a, I actually do have a question. How did someone figure out that there was a golden strawberry? Like, I know that the Matt Thornis, or whatever his name is, mentioned it, but how did they know that they were supposed to not dash it, specifically in level 1, to find it? I don't know. Maybe someone just decided to see if they could. Yeah. Maybe it was someone really observant. Like, hey, I noticed that some of these look like you don't need to dash, so maybe that's the key. Our cookie. Oh crap. Okay, there's a thing there. I can- I cannot imagine if they decide- if, if the creator decided to put a, a wing strawberry in every level. I mean, then again that wouldn't be possible because there are some places where you have to dash. But still, very creative concept. Very douchey, but very creative. What are we doing here? Oh, I see.
What? Thank you. You have to make a really precise jump onto the, uh... You have to keep holding over and grab onto the wall, then make a really precise jump up onto the other traffic block. I don't know what can be more precise than being locked. Wait. No, that didn't do it. I don't know what could be more precise than being launched. Does it involve letting go of the climb button? Yeah, I'm gonna see how this person did it. Because I am, I'm close on this kind of stuff. Oh, oh, uh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, well. So it's gonna be those, those, gonna one of those kinds of jumps. How did this guy do it? Oh no! Uh... Oh, okay. I almost hit the dash button. That was dangerously close. Why am I out of stamina? Come on. Oh wait, uh, okay, I have to wait until it completes, okay. No. How am I supposed to do this without running out of stamina? You know what? I'm gonna make this easier for me. What the- oh crap, okay, I kept letting go of the Ellen button. This is a stupidly precise jump. I'm not even sure I can make it. Almost got it. Hey, there we go. Oh crap. Okay.
Okay. There's like a lot of room to screw up here. I sent you a message about this in the chat. Yeah, it's better if I, uh... Oh boy. Are you kidding me? That's why I said I'd let you use the lowered speed. Within four frames, huh? Yep. How do I know it's in, how do I know it's within four frames? You'll jump. Basically, just press. Basically, just press the button as soon as you walk off the platform. No! And yes, I'm using infinite stamina because for some goddamn reason Madeline decides that I'm, she doesn't have enough to get up there. At least for this little bit. How the hell was I supposed to do that within four frames? That's like what? Look, everything about this game is specific, but not everything about this game has to be specific, you know? Come on. So. With the four frames thing, is it that I'll jump farther as a difference as to whether or not I actually made it? What? I said, the four frames thing, if I actually pull it off, do I jump farther indicating that I actually did it? Or is it that, like, I have to jump... jump after you've walked off the platform, you'll make it. Wait. Come on. Wait. Within four frames. How can I tell what how can I tell when the frames are going? It basically just means, like, as soon as you step off the platform. Yes! I did it! That golden strawberry is as good as mine. After several painful attempts of dying, dashing, well, not dashing, just of dying... Just press the dash button now. Right. After several... Arrow... Ugh. After several attempts, that uh, golden winged strawberry is finally within reach, completing this entire level without dashing. <gasps> oh look! It has a little smile on it! Oh, that's cute! Alright. You're going on my pie! Come here! Oh my god, the hardest part is finally over. And aptly, I take a well-deserved rest. I feel like the reason they put it in this level isn't just because it's easier to do, but because you would be exhausted after not dashing at all to go through this entire level to get a strawberry, and Madeline would in fact be exhausted. Oh, that's fitting. Okay, I'm tempted. Now that I can dash, I won't have to worry about 
stupid things. You're saying hot model, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't need to, like, connect anything past, uh, past my, uh... Oh, crap. Okay. You have a honey bucket. I have a honey Oh. Oh, close. Feels good to be able to dash again. Uh, oh dear. Don't stand too far over. Holy crap. Oh joy. Intense. This is the only golden berry I'm getting because I just want to show it off to people. And it's mine! <laughs> Hell yeah! You used assist mode, but you still got it on your first try. Well, I mean, I didn't use, like, invincibility or anything. I just needed to make precise jumps. Look, after spending all that time getting the golden berry, I felt like I kind of deserved it a little easier time. Well, 
I've done everything I've done. I've done everything planned in Celeste. I gotta say, this game was well thought out. This game was well planned, well made. They definitely thought out anything and everything anyone would think to do. So, oh my god, that was well worth it. You really can see all the levels from this view. I think this is going to be it for the playthrough of Celeste, everyone. Finally. I finally completed this. I've finally done everything I wanted to do. And now I can finally enjoy myself with other games. This has been a fantastic experience. But all adventures must come to an end. So thank you everyone for watching this playthrough of Celeste. And I'll see you all in the next game. This game was amazing, well thought out, and quite honestly, I'm definitely glad I played it.